Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm Brad, the Green Knight of the Co-op Knights. Um, let's see, last time we left off, we explored the Aurora and got um, a blueprint for a rocket that'll hopefully take us off world some, uh, someday. And we explored... Intake recommended. Apparently the fact that I'm hungry. No, we explored um, the Degasi habitat that was... Um, one of our waypoints and found various decoration items like what you see here. Um, uh, we also got a couple blueprints for, okay, so that's the Neptune launch platform that we saw last time. We got we scanned and found an orange tablet in the Degasi habitat. I've gone ahead and put that in the locker with the purple tablet back on the Cyclops. Uh, we also found, Where did we get the Cyclops depth module? Depth module again? I can't remember. But um, oh yeah, we actually uh, got the blueprints for the Cyclops shield generator as well. Not much else, um, but a lot of stuff did ha did go on. Uh, we got into a couple tussles with some crab squids. We were chased by Reaper leviathans. Um, a warper pulled me out of the Degasi habitat and nearly scared the living bejesus out of me. Scan data of the orange tablet. Okay. This device hums slightly and displays an orange lit symbol resembling an N. It may offer a way to interact with compatible technologies. Okay, so that was the orange tablet we scanned. Uh, it's Aurora Survivors. We got a couple more uh, Degasi uh, voice logs, and I've been meaning to look at those when we got back, but it looks like I'm very, very hungry right now, so we'll save that until I, I've finished eating. And also, while we were away, eggshells means they all hatched. Look at them, they're beautiful. We've got a stalker, one of those uh, like crabs, uh, crab eels or whatever they are. We got a mesmer, we got sand sharks. Let's actually go in and say hi, why don't we? Because they're actually completely harmless to us while we're, uh, while we're in here. We can pick them up and actually release them outside. Um, we've got Jelly Ray, I feel like he's for study and we've got wait is that Gary fish in here or is that out I think that's outside and it somehow glitched in here okay we've got an amp eel we've got rabbit rays we got a cuttlefish let's let's grab him and bring him outside while well, we grab something to eat on the way out the there but I mean look at how awesome this thing is some of the plants started growing and they're just swimming all in harmony and we can uh, watch them as intently as we want to. We even got a, a spinning crab um, or crash fish. This is cool. I can't wait to add other creatures to it. All right, but let's grab some food and then we'll release the uh, little guy outside. Let's see what that's all about. Look at a fish. He's so cute. Sweet, we are solid and good to go. Now let's go outside into the garden. I, th I think the uh, little cuttlefish will like swimming outside in the garden area. And let's see. Drop the cuttlefish. Hi hey there, what? Where'd you go? Please don't leave me. Oh, there you, hi. <gasps> Here's a cookie, you want a cookie? Oh, your dopey face is so adorable. Oh, did you not want that cookie? Okay, whatever. What else do you want to do? More cookies? Okay. Can you just smack it out of my hand? Oh, you rub your belly. Oh, these things are so adorable. And apparently there's another command to stop follow. So does that mean like you'll just swim with me if I go somewhere? Let's see. Yes, he will, he follows. I wonder if I command him to stop follow, he'll just swim around the garden. I wonder if that would actually be safe for him, considering that there's stalkers out, out in that forest. All right, stop following me. Just swim around the garden. And I'm gonna scan you. I hope he'll be safe out there. Where'd he go? There you are. Oh, he's so cute. 
What's the data? What's the data bank say about him? Displays high levels of intelligence, curiosity, and attachment. Strangely, the species has not been encountered in the wild, and the scanned specimen had to be artificially hatched within an alien companion unit. In the absence of wild specimens, looks like we have a message. Little can be known for certain about the cuttlefish's fish's life cycle. It's possible that environmental conditions have changed, forcing the species to the edge of extinction and leaving its egg in permanent stasis. It's also possible the cuttlefish has been genetically altered or even imported from another world. Cuttlefish is an herbivore which displays highly social behavior in its interspecies interactions, as was observed in Earth dolphins before their extinct. Aww. So in this game, dolphins are extinct? Aww. That sucks. This creature seems to understand the concept of other minds, the prime indicator of true sentience, and attempts to communicate with a series of chirps and chirrups. Evidence suggests the cuttlefish is capable of understanding and following simple commands in addition to assessing the emotional state of individuals around it and responding in kind. Assessment, emotional connection between living creatures and an essential component of psychological health. So that's nice. And look at it looks like he really enjoys swimming around the garden. I think we'll let him do that as freely as he chooses, so so long as no stalkers come after you. If they do, I'm, I'm going to have to put you back in the containment unit for safety. But uh, anyway, so one other thing we were going to do is let's have a seat and listen to the Degasi records that we picked up on earlier. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials, equipment. Just, can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay then, I guess that was around the time they discovered that whatever virus is in this water finally got into them. And then, all nine disaster. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bart, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Oh, uh, that sounds like a... Chief. Le Reaper Leviathan? Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! <laughs> Well, that's no goo. That is no goo at all. Oh, and there's the scan of the ampule. Cool. So, it looks like wherever that was, which I guess it was down in um, the habitat we just discovered, it looks like they got pretty horridly attacked by something. I'm guessing we'll find out what that is the next time we find another... Uh, data pad from them, but it looks like things just were not going good for them. They found out they're sick, then they get attacked. Ugh, what a nightmare. Anyway, so for, um, let's see, what do we need to do for today is, oh yeah, that's right, I remember now. We've actually got a couple other, um, what is it? A couple other, um, places we need to go for, um, yeah, life pod, uh, different life pod crew logs, some of which don't give us an exact um, location as to where they are. So we need to find out based on pictures where they are, I think. Where is life pod 7? 
sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity, one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern. Okay, I think we have a new destination. Um, oh yeah, now I remember what I what I had planned for us right away. Um, before we go anywhere, we need to try and construct the power cell charger. And for that, we need two rubies, an advanced wiring kit, and two pieces of titanium. We've already got one ruby, and I think... I didn't want to build that. I think we might have another one stored up somewhere. Let me check. We've got one in our inventory right now. And then I can just go ahead and grab two titanium really quickly. That's just easy. So, two titanium. And let's see, here's Ruby. Shoot, we're out. So we need to find out where we can find Ruby. And then we need an advanced wiring kit, which how do I make that again? All right, so I need a wiring kit, which is just two silver ore, that's easy. Two pieces of gold and a computer chip, which is also, so I need a total of three gold, two table coral sample, two pieces of copper for copper wire, and two silver. I think I've already got copper for the copper. Uh, don't you love when you're when you're shot down like that by yourself when you're discovering stuff? I think there's some stuff on the Aurora, on the um, Cyclops we can use. Oh, and we also have a radio to listen to. Let's give it a listen really quick. This is Life Pod Two coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, there's life pod too. I just need one more piece of copper. There it is. That's the piece of copper. So then I need to get silver, which I'm gonna switch into the sandstone chunks because those are even harder to find. That's gonna well, that's gold. Gold's gold, yeah. Gold's gold, gold's gold, gold's gold, gold, gold. <laughs> And in the twelfth hour, Brad lost his mind. Man, if I leave my, lose my mind after twelve hours, I must have been going through hell. There's the silver. That's all we need. I mean, I'd like to collect all the others, but then we'd be here forever. And, you know, I'll do my basic resource collection off screen. Keep the adventuring stuff in the videos. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go back for the Grand Reef, except this time I'm just going to take the seam off for ease of access and quick speediness. And because taking the Cyclops over the Safe Shallows is actually surprisingly dangerous, despite it being called the Safe Shallows, but because I might run into stuff. I could damage my Cyclops. I don't want to do that. Oh, those are sharks. Where the hell am I? Oh, this is the mountainous zone. And it looks like we have a message. But yeah, I believe the mountainous zone borders the Grand Reef. Yeah, here's the Grand Reef. You can always tell because of uh, those floating blue thingies. Oh, is that wreckage? Neato. I don't want to go down too far. Well, cause I can't because I have a diving depth of only 300 meters. But also because, you know, just dangerous. Thermal plant fragment. This is very valuable to us right now. Because our base needs a better power system. New blueprint acquired. What's this? Oh, that's just quartz. Quartz is still good, though. All right, well, hopefully we don't find a warper here soon. Um, anytime soon. What's in the sandstone? Lead, okay. And another thermal plant fragment. That's awesome. Oh, do I actually have it all? Nope. Won't get me, motherfucker. I'm out of here. I heard you, you son of a bitch. Ow. Down further we go. There's Ruby. There is a ruby. I want that ruby. Ow, hot, 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 hot. Fuck. 
Oh, I guess I was standing right next to a thermal vent, wasn't I? That was stupid. I wonder if there's any urine and I... Ow! Yeah, 63 degrees Celsius. That's hot water. I wonder if there's any uraninite around here. Because that could be useful once I'm able to build a uh, nuclear reactor. You know, though, we don't really have time to explore to find out, so let's head back home with the ruby that we collected. And there's a warper. I'm getting out of here. I need better weaponry to combat warpers and stuff. Alright, so let's get power cell charger. Stick it up in there. I probably should have checked if it was centered before I... No, let's center that. There, that's a little better. That is much more acceptable. Now, it looks like it can only hold two at once. But uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple from the from our um, chest over here. Anyway, all right, let's store those in there, get them charging. Maybe with any uh, luck, we'll find enough materials to put a second one down there or something. So we're going to let those charge up. OK, yeah. We can either go find Life Pod 7. We could go to life pod number. We could go find life pod two. This is life pod two coordinates attached. We're way past which we have a waypoint for. And bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. I think I'm kind of I'm really interested in life pod two. I say we go find that one as soon as we get the uh, power cells charged up. Okay, so if we head northeast from our position, we'll be able to find some blood kelp zones. I want to find one of those and grab some plant life slash uh, animal life, whatever we can find while we're out there, and bring it back in. I don't know why that struck me as important, but for some reason it did. Oh, I think because that's um, one of the plants that I meant to put in, uh, in here that I still have space for. So I want to go grab that while we're waiting on the power cells to charge. It shouldn't be too bad of a trip. We can we can even take the uh, uh, Seamoth to get there to make sure that the that those guys charge. Really? You're already charged? Holy shit. All right. Well, let's swap you out for uh, two other ones that need to get charging. All right, so we'll still take the Seamoth here for a go, and we'll head northwest. Look for a lead kill zone. I do believe this might be it, yeah. Yep, there's blood kelp. Man, you have such a roar. I love it. Alright, so let's go down here and see what we can find. What's that right there? Can I scan you? Gabe's feather. Oh, that's you. Let's grab a sample of you. And store you. Here's some blood kelp. Now supposedly there's gonna be there can be like some really large and evil creatures here. Oh, check it out, more rubies. Let's grab them rubies. Blood kelp. Or blood oil. No mistake. And this is the blood vine which blood oil can spawn on. So if we grab this. Grab it. Or do I just plant blood oil in the soil and that's that. Ooh. What are you? A spine fish. I'm gonna grab you. You look awesome. New creature discovered. Alright, we don't have to grab too much of the blood oil because we'll be able to basically farm it at home. Can I grab you? No, you're just Okay, you're not useful. Ah, bollocks. There we go. All that blood oil everywhere, huh? That's interesting. You look like the acid shrooms, but you call it a deep shroom, huh? We'll grab a couple of you. Okay, inventory's full. Let's go back to the Seamoth and bring that down here. 
see what else we can find. Okay, that's just a reef back. I'm safe. Relatively speaking. Safe is always relative in this game. Alright, so let's store the blood oil in there. Yeah, so the blood oil contains blood binding seeds. That's good. Let's store a deep shroom in there. So that's the spine fish. I want to bring that back for uh, sampling. Maybe uh, keep it in the in the tank. Ooh, I'm a little wary about going too much deeper than this. Let's see if there's anything else up in this these uh, shallower blood kelp areas. Uh, what is that? Whoa, Warper, Warper, get out, get out. Let's return home. Come on, baby Seamoth, you can do this. Ooh, I am sweating really hard right now. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Get to the reef back, they're safe. Okay, I don't think he's pursuing us. But holy shit, that was scary. Woo! My heart is pounding in my ears just like the... Like... Like the beat of the music. That's just... Whew. It doesn't help that I keep my room dark and my volume relatively high. <laughs> that does not help matters. That does not help my quivering fear. What's this? A scanner and fragment or something like that? I don't, I don't care. Let's just go back home with the spoils. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Hello, stalker. You swam outside for a second. That's not good. I want you to stay in. And there's our little Bob just swimming around, enjoying life. Hi there! Can you see me in the window? I guess not. That's right, I wanted to go look for Life Pod 2, which is down that way. And we wanted to look for Life Pod 17. You know what? With the energy we have, I say let's go for it. Because I want to achieve something in this episode. So we'll go to Life Pod 2. Use you. But we did discover a new biome. That's pretty sweet. Alright, let's turn off interior lighting. Uh, fire up that engine. And we follow the waypoint to CTO use life pod. Alright, when that thing gets right at the reticle, that means we'll be right on top of it and we'll descend from there. Some more floating rocks, huh? And right there, so let's begin our descent. Whoa! Are these blood kelp on floating islands? That is scary. Well, um, I say we go slow. Yeah. I don't like it. Not one bit. I mean, I kind of like it because it's cool, but I don't like me personally being here. Like, if I was looking at this through, like, an ROV or something like that, whoa. Like, something that didn't mean I was directly here. And that music is... Scary, and there's a fucking warper. Shit. There's a life pod down here. I must investigate. But I don't feel safe here, like, in the slightest. Oh, that music. It's cool and scary at the same time. It's coolie. Oh, is that a time capsule? Is anyone nearby that can... Okay, there's you. 
the, uh, not you, the person I'm looking for, but you, like, you warper, you. That's an interesting plant. I want to get a sample. And I want to pick up that time capsule. All right, scanning the area to see if there's anyone nearby that could be very dangerous. There's that warper, but he didn't seem too interested in us. Let's turn up the engines. I don't see any, like, leviathan-like creatures, although that could change with that area. All right. Let's turn on interior lighting so I can actually see stuff. Exploitable. Lead by. Okay. All right. Well, there's one last thing I want to check out out here. I want to grab a sample of whatever this is. Ghost weed. And scan it and then get it right back into the Cyclops. And then we are getting very close to finding the, uh, Welcome up. um, what you call it. Life pod. There it is. Oh man, I can see it too. All right, let's go into the camera. I say we. Oh right, I need to turn on the engines now. Engine powering up. There's that warper again, but he doesn't seem too interested in us. He's kind of patrolling the area, so that's okay. Yeah. Whoa, crap squid, crap squid. Whoa, what the fuck? Why is that here? Fuck. All right, that's it. Where are you, you fat son of a bitch? Come here. I'm going to scare you the fuck off. Come here. Get out of here, you sucker. So that's what was making the noises that was scaring me and making me so uneasy. I mean, damn. Ooh, your anonite crystal. That's useful. <sighs> I am very... What the fuck? Okay, we need to get this thing and get out of here. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. I don't like it. Not one bit. All right. Boost. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh. There's the warper again. Hopefully, I don't think they can pull us out of the Cyclops, can they? I hope not. So far, he's not near enough to cause us any danger, so that's... But yeah, that giant snake-like thing with the hammerhead, that was what I was worried about coming out here. The ghost leviathan. I read that they exist on the outer boundaries of the map to keep you from exploring them for too long. They also live down in like the deepest depths. And just like what we saw, they live in some of the blood kelp zones. So that's why I kind of dreaded coming here. But we got the PDA, we got the uh, data from the, whew, from the crash uh, live pod which we'll review as soon as we get home. Where I'm gonna have another cup of coffee and relax a little bit. All right, we are finally safely home. Whew. Gosh, that scared me. This is kind of like a power episode, wasn't it? We did a lot of exploration. Oh wait, I should. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't park there because of the dang uh, water thingy. But all right, let's turn off that engine. Holy ma macaroni! Oh, that scared me. All right, so we got ghost weed seed, which we'd cool to plant out, and I got some other stuff from uh, here. 
Oh, there's a good luck. We already read that. Okay, supposedly we have... Here we go. Life pod 2, Chief Technical Officer used voice log. T plus 2 minutes. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Well, that sounds like a horrible move, especially considering everything else that went down there with you. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and plant this new uh, species that we got. I should probably turn the lights on. But um, I kind of want to plant that in here. There. Sweet deal. Okay. <sighs> So that's another objective successfully completed. I say we call it break time here and have a little bit of time to relax. Thank you all so much for catching me on this uh, episode of Subnautica. Um, if you like what you see, please let us know by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to our channel, sharing it with your friends and family, and leaving some sort of comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, I hope to see you next episode. Take care now.